Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to be doing a little get ready with me. I am going out tonight to the pub. Well actually I'm going for a boozy lunch first and then I'm going to the pub later on and I thought I'd do a little get ready with me and then take you along for a little bit of my evening. I am currently wearing a little robe in case you're confused. You would have already seen the video where this was but I'm gonna be a bridesmaid! Oh my god I am so so freaking excited so yeah I'm gonna get into this little get ready with me. I would also like to say I am no makeup artist. Um, I just do what I like and what I think looks good. So literally nobody come for me, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start by using the Illamasqua, an Illamasqua um, primer all over my skin. Also, don't mind my hair. I am hoping that it's going to, like, wave it out a bit. Um, so we will sort that out after I've done my makeup. It's also a good way to just um, get my... What am I saying? Get my hair out of my face. So, yeah. Oh, right. Just gonna wait for that to set. I'm also drinking a protein coffee frap, which is literally just ice, soya milk, protein, and then a shot of coffee, all blended, and it's so nice. Mmm. Because I'm going out for lunch, I didn't want like a massive breakfast, but. I need to get my protein in. Next, I'm going to use these glow drops from Jekka Black. I just like putting these under my found this under my foundation because I feel like it gives me a little glow. Um, I don't know if it does. If you know anything better that gives you like a glow, let me know. Like I say. Yeah, any tips you want to give me, as long as you're nice. <laughs> I honestly do not mind, because like I said, I am not a makeup artist. So, I don't even know if I should be putting this all over my face or just in certain areas. I really don't know. Um, but we'll go with it. Okay, I look probably crazy right now, because I probably look really shiny. I don't know if you can even see it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know foundation I'm using is Maybelline which let me tell you let me tell you guys I am not that big of a fan of this foundation but I'm using it up it's like a matte one and I'm not really a matte foundation kind of gal um I have to say I think I prefer more of a dewy look so I don't think I will get this one again that's okay, you live and you learn. I like to test out new foundations, so yeah. Um I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Also, I washed up my brushes yesterday and I love a fresh brush, especially a fresh a be a fresh <sighs> a fresh foundation brush. But, does anyone else hate that first time after you've washed it use? Just that first time. I don't know, I don't know. Especially like eyeshadow brushes. I don't know, I just feel like my makeup doesn't go on as well. Maybe that's just me being really bad at makeup, I don't know. But, um, yeah. It's all over my face. I will do my forehead in a minute. <laughs> How is everyone? How is everyone finding life right now? I am honestly feel like I'm just waiting for things like exciting things to happen. Um, 
obviously the other day i well last, literally last night not last night for you guys but last night for me i did get asked to be a bridesmaid for my best friend um in australia so she's not getting married until next october but i am really hoping that obviously everything is dot gone and i can actually make it over there because i will be gutted obviously i'm meant to be traveling there anyway but i will literally be gutted if i can't go um i've not seen her since 2017 guys it'll be five years of not seeing her before i see her next year so yeah, but I am actually meeting with my other friend from camp that also got asked to be a bridesmaid in a few weeks. So I am so excited about that. Like, that is going to be literally so good. Okay. I don't know if I do my makeup in a really weird order. Um, I probably do, you know, but that's okay. I kind of, I'm just used to doing it this way, you know? I don't know. I'm next gonna do my brows. This takes a lot of concentration, so. I actually do do soap brows, but I know for sure that I do them wrong because I do my colour first and then I put the soap on I just can't like my eyebrows are really bad like I don't have very good eyebrows um and I just I don't know whenever I do I have tried it where you put the soap on and then you do the product but it just doesn't make my eyebrows look very good I feel like I need to go to a professional and be like teach me to do my brows so if anyone knows anywhere good is benefit good i don't know or anyone good keep me posted okay that doesn't look that looks all right to be fair i don't know if you can see i fully go with the whole notion of your brows are meant to be what is it your brows are meant to be sisters not twins or something like that and i fully take that on board okay they're looking okay for now um now i take oh, of course pear soap everyone uses this and i actually just take a bit of hairspray and hairspray the soap and then just let that um dry a little bit so that it's not as like wet um does that make sense maybe and then while i'm doing that <clears throat> while that's doing that i am gonna use what am i gonna what palette am i gonna use today? yeah i'm gonna use this one this is my all-time favorite palette it is the uh urban decay born to run palette i just love it it has the best colors ever and i just love it right so i'm going to use riff for all over my lid um i used to be a lot more experimental with with eyeshadow but i don't know like i just kind of prefer the more relaxed like look now um plus i'm not very good at it <coughs> yeah i'm not very good at like eyeshadow so i'm not very good at makeup in general like i'm okay i can make myself look nice and i like the way it goes but I'm definitely no makeup artist like this is just a little I just thought you know what it's nice to have a chat in it why are you getting ready it's like I'm getting ready with a friend mm. 
I've also had the nicest, chillest morning. I have, um... What have I done? I've done a workout, I've had a nice shower and washed my hair, had some breakfast and watched Grey's. Oh my god, let's talk about Grey's. So, I've started watching Grey's Anatomy off of a recommendation from a client at work. Um, she told me that she thought I would really, really love it. Um, so I said to her, okay, like I'll at least make sure that I give it a go before I next see you and I'm hooked I'm on the like episode I'm only on like episode six um because I only started watching it on like Thursday but I'm absolutely hooked and I literally love it it's so good and I wanted a new series to watch so I'm very happy about that okay that's literally all I'm doing with my eyeshadow at the minute okay I'm gonna do my eyebrows now this is kind of a process, but I just get one of these little spoolies. I get loads of these from when I get my eyelashes done, which obviously right now I don't have. Um, I will be getting them again soon. So I literally love having my eyelashes done. But yeah, this is more just to keep these in place rather than actually do like spiky up brows because again, I don't know how you do that. Honestly, I need a makeup artist in my life. Because I don't know how to do all of these new trends and stuff. I actually don't think there was any point doing this today. Because I've literally not done anything. No. literally just doing this just to keep them in place now yeah okay that'll do with that <laughs> I don't want to ruin my eyebrows okay I am going to put my eyelashes on but I cannot for the life of me do that on camera because it's going to take me a few times but I'm wearing Earlier, I never had know how to say this buttery intense lashes. So I am gonna pop these on. Um and then I'll get back to you. I'm also gonna do eyeliner, just just a line, um, because I feel like it makes it connect up more. Um and I use the super cat liquid liner from Soap and Glory. So I'll get back to you. I'm back and my eyelashes are on. Looking cute, looking cute. Okay, I'm going to go in now with my <sighs> concealer. I use, usually I use, oh my god, what is it called? Cole collection concealer, but I have this one from Rimmel, lasting matte one. I really want to use up um, before I go and buy any more concealers so that is what we're using today so I'm gonna just put a little bit on my um, forehead and then under my eyes and I'm just using a real te techniques uh, sponge sponge is that what you call it what is this called beauty blender that's what it's called yeah a beauty blender oh and the shade of this is oh i don't know oh true ivory and in the collection one i switch between medium and light dependent uh because sometimes i like to use light to like lighten up underneath my eyes and stuff um, yeah. You know what? My hay fever this year has been um, not nice. Like, I think I heard who was talking about it. Oh, 
has she was talking about how bad the hay fever is this year and i think everyone is really like well everyone that has hay fever is like it's so bad this year like i am having to take and this is really bad i know but i'm having to literally take like four hay fever tablets a day just to even like function and be able to get on with my day um I know I should not be taking four a day, but I just, I need to, I have to, to be able to function, and it's really bad, yeah, and I'm, I've got nasal spray, I drop, it's just so bad this year, like, I'm really suffering, and I think a lot of people are. Okay, I'm next going to go in with my Match Perfection Translucent powder and I am going to bake my face um, I do feel because I'm going out for lunch and then we are actually going out this evening I'm going for lunch with one friend and then she, um, my best friend Lindsay who you've all met is coming to meet us um, after her tattoo so if you'll let me then i'll show you her tattoo um and then we my best friend and me lindsay i don't know why i'm saying my best friend and me lindsay and me are then going to meet another friend at the pub so yeah mm. got a tea can't start my day without a tea you know I would also just like to say that most of the brushes that I use are also Real Techniques. I just love me some Real Techniques, to be honest. Like, yeah, I just love it. I just, they're just my favourite, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know how, meant, how long you meant to leave on to bake, but... Um, I'm just going to... Do that and then okay so while that's baking i'm gonna go in with my mascara i'm using the sky high by maybelline you know what i've heard people rave about this and i've used it on my normal lashes and i don't know i think my sister really likes it um but i think i'm so used to like either having strip lashes on or lash extensions that i just oh, I just don't really like my appearance without it. Um, yeah, I just don't really like how I look without just my normal lashes, which is actually really sad, but I just, I don't know, I just love big bold lashes. I just am. Um, that person like even day to day like I wouldn't obviously do this level of makeup but I do wear a decent amount and I do like false eyelashes like I just can't even help it it's just who I am right I can now blend in my baked look um yeah Okay, next step. I'm going to use my Born to Run palette again and I'm going to do a colour under the eye. I think because I, the reason I like this palette so much is because it is so colourful. <sighs> what do I want to do? I really like doing blue under there. I think that really makes my eyes pop because I have blue eyes or like a greeny. Or I like doing Baja, which is like a bright orange. I don't know what I'm going to wear today. Huh. Huh. Maybe I won't use this. Maybe I'll use my Naked Honey. If you can't tell, I absolutely adore Urban Decay. Yeah, I'm going to use Honey. I'm going to use Keeper. Uh, yeah, Urban Decay is just my favourite for eyeshadow. I also like Morphe, but... I don't know, just Urban Decay. I think it's because when I was young, I have like a lot. 
I always, when they bring out a new palette, I'll always buy it. Um, and I would, yeah, it was like the first eyeshadows that I got into so they just always have a special place in my heart oh yeah I like how that looks yeah that's cute yeah that's really cute I'm just gonna go in with our bronzer which is the Too Faced chocolate bronzer in milk chocolate solid I don't know um Mm. this is really nice colour but I just like to build on it if you're wondering what I'm looking at there's a there's literally a mirror behind you guys so I'm not just looking into the distance weirdly a bit on my forehead to brighten that up and I yeah bit on my nose Last but not least, my favourite, oh no, second to last thing, highlight. I use the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love it. I am going to use Summer in my inner corner and Moonstone for my highlight. I honestly, literally love, love, love this uh, highlight. I never know how to use like the darker colours though, um, so are they meant for like darker skinned people because if they are, when I'm done with like the light colours I will definitely give this palette to someone that can use it, um, but I don't know, let me know, let me know. I just love this highlight palette also yes I love highlight like I put quite a lot on because I just love highlight okay, this is where I go in and I get really picky about everything and quite fussy about the final look I am happy with my makeup um, apart from lipstick lip gloss but I will put that when I'm I will put that on when I'm completely and utterly ready I am gonna go finish off drying my hair so hopefully it's way a little bit wavy and then we will do my hair okay so the curliness did not work so I've just literally straightened it and I am going to put it up half, I'm going to do it half up, half down with like plaits. So, again, I'm looking at the mirror behind. So just ignore that. Uh, my parents also just got home. So if you can hear like moving around, that's why. good it's really hard to do your hair on camera I don't know how people back in the day used to do hair tutorials and stuff and like different hairstyles do you remember them videos that's like 10 easy hairstyles for short hair I am really loving this hairstyle at the minute. Do they look pretty even? Yeah, I think so. Oh, 
no, what's that bit there? What's that doing? Oh, that's so annoying. Then I'm literally just gonna plap and then use small little see-through bands. I could have used them on the top here, but I don't really know why I didn't, to be honest. But these things are such lifesavers. Like, I use them all the time, so. That is so cute. I'm gonna put a little outfit on and I'll give you the final reveal. And this is my finished look. I've got this little white dress on. I'm gonna wear, I'm not sure what shoes yet. I will show you. I'm gonna pop my little Primark sunglasses on my head. I have got on Fenty Beauty in Fenty Glow on my lips. These little hoops, which I honestly can't remember where they're from. My normal jewellery as well, like my rings and stuff. So, yeah, I'm all ready. I'm also wearing Calvin Klein. So. I'm going to take my little Mimco bag, which Casper actually got me from New Zealand, uh, not New Zealand, Australia. This coat, because it might be cold.